वी विल कवर थ्री थिंग्स इन दिस लेक्चर लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई सप्लाई स्केड्यूल एंड सप्लाई कर्व लॉ ऑफ सप्लाई स्टेट्स दैट देर इज अ पॉजिटिव रिलेशन बिटवीन ओन प्राइस ऑफ अ कमोडिटी एंड इट्स क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड सो दिस मीन्स प्रोड्यूसर्स विल सप्लाई मोर गुड्स एट अ हायर प्राइस एंड लेस गुड्स एट अ लोअर प्राइस When we talk about supply it's not only the price of the good that determines the quantity supplied by sellers there are some other factors as well that sellers take into account while deciding how much of a good to supply for example cost of production imagine a seller producing three goods good a good b and good c and let's assume that the market price of all these goods is same that is Three dollars per unit, and the cost of producing these goods is also same, say one point five dollars per unit. Now, if cost of producing good B rises from one point five dollars to two point five dollars, do you think the seller will keep on supplying the same amount of good B? No, right? Because it's not worth it for him to devote the same amount of time, energy. and other inputs to produce good b now so he will reduce the production of good b and start using his inputs somewhere else where he could get better returns so while discussing law of supply we assume all the other factors that may affect the quantity supplied by a seller to be constant after discussing law of supply let us now discuss supply schedule and supply curve Just like demand schedule a supply schedule is a table showing different quantities supplied by a firm at different prices of a good for example have a look at the following table it shows that if the price of good is $1 then the firm will supply 10 units of good if the price of good increases to $2 it will supply 20 units of good and so on moving on to supply curve now A supply curve is just a graphic representation of the supply schedule and this is how it looks like. It carries the same information and assumptions that a supply schedule does. Here I have taken price on the vertical axis and quantity supplied on the horizontal axis. Note that this supply curve is an individual supply curve as we are talking about only one firm here. we can derive the market supply curve just like we derived the market demand curve let's assume that there are only two firms in the market that supplies good x and these are their supply schedules we can derive the market supply schedule by adding the quantity supplied by all these firms at different prices so as you can see in column 4 the entire market supplies 10 units of good x when the price is One dollar per unit. The quantity supplied increases to twenty-one units when the price rises to two dollars, and the quantity supplied increases further to thirty units when the price of the good rises to three dollars, and so on. Notice that when the price of good X is two dollars or below, then the quantity supplied by firm B is zero. One reason for this could be the inefficiency of firm B. See because it has some old technology to produce good X which keeps its cost of production high. So it's profitable for firm B to enter the market only when the price of good X is $3 or more. So if you look from a market perspective then this entry and exit of firms also explains why does the quantity supplied increases when there is an increase in price. Okay So now as we have got our market supply schedule we can simply graph this to get the market supply curve and this is how it looks like a market supply curve shows the total amount of quantity supplied at different prices so this is all about law of supply supply schedule and supply curve